Welcome everybody to a new video of the Architects Notes. Today we're going to see how to um, how to create a text with an area that gets updated automatically when we update a polyline or a hatch uh, surface. So in the previous video we saw that the, a very good way to see the area of, a com of different polylines if we want this, uh, these polylines to have uh, the same area and to be part of the same um, typology, for example, to be back of house space, all of them, uh, we can just create a hatch and when we select the hatch we see here the area, that is 19,000, uh, whatever it is. Um, today we're going to see how to, uh, if we write the 19,000, that's round off, how to uh, update this number automatically if the area gets bigger, okay? The first way, let's delete this, erase, the first way of doing this is uh, type in common, command field, field, there we go, and, and here we have it, we go to object, we select the object type, that is the hatch, and here AutoCAD gives us different options. What we are interested now is in area and we click OK. Here we have the preview, we have the 19,000 that we saw before, so you see it's working. Here we have the architectural, it keeps changing to, to this. I think it's because it's applying some conversion factor, yeah. It is. Let's delete that and let's Let's apply square meters alt 253 and let's click OK and there we go. We have the 19,446 square meters. So if we select this, you see this number and this number is the same. Let's scale this up a little bit times 2 times 2. This is the first way. The second way of doing this is just creating a text. I've always done it this way. I don't know why. Let's make this text a bit bigger. 10. And let's type area, for example. M square meters. And now we come to the text. We select this text. And we type Control F object, we, s we do the same operation again. Object type, select, we select the hatch and we come to area and architectural again, the conversion factor and we just delete this and we do the same. Square meters and this is all to do. Okay. We click OK and there we have it. Uh, this wasn't needed. Well, we can also, well, this is good. We can also remove these square meters in case we had uh, written this before, okay? Let's remove it. We select this, Control F, and now we can just go to additional format and just remove the suffix, okay? Um, <laughs> It applied the conversion factor, additional format, I don't want a conversion factor, thank you, AutoCAD, and then there we go. This is the way of create. these are two different ways of creating it. Now, how to update it? If we select the polyline and we move it up, we see that it's not updated. We can just type region and there we go. The areas get updated automatically. Another way of, up, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. Let's do it. And now we can also type, the, the other way of updating it is update field, enter, and now we just select it. Enter again, and there we go. We do the same, enter, enter, and there we go. This is the way of doing it. Also, sorry, let's do it with polylines as well. So you see that this, in case, okay, we haven't done the hatch. We're just calculating 
because we're working in a simpler pr project, we just have a rectangle. We can repeat the same operation with uh, with a polyline instead of a hatch. So we select, we create the text, sorry, we do area, square meters to simplify. We select the area, control F, object, we click here and here we come. We click the polyline and we have different properties because a polyline doesn't have the same properties as a hatch. But you, we just come here, area, and OK. And there we go. This is the way of doing it. It's very easy, it's super useful, and it will save you lots of time uh, because, yeah, if you are um, writing down many areas in a complex project and every time the area changes, yeah. it can be very tedious. Uh, so yeah, I hope it's very helpful for you guys. And please, if you like the video, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.